Hey guys, Dustin Medlin here with Dustin Medlin Real Estate Group and uh, Keller Williams Diamond Partners. We're over here in Raytown, Missouri, looking at a possible uh, investment property as a rental. Um, it's, of course, snowing again today here in Kansas City. We've had a lot of that this winter, but we're going to take a look. Hopefully the heat's on inside, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so here's the outside of the property. Um, you can see it's got one car garage. Looks like it's got some uh, vinyl siding on the outside with some metal broken around the window, so it's got a limited amount of maintenance. It's got a brick front, which is also going to be low maintenance on the outside. Looks like this house is on a crawl space based upon that vent I see down there. Uh, the outside looks okay so far. Got that Again, that low maintenance siding actually, yeah, it is. It looks like vinyl. So, got a kind of a bad spot back here where it looks like something's hit it, but um, there's a hole over there too, if you can see that. Original windows, gutters are still intact, but deep clean. We're going to go ahead and go around to the other side of the house to try to get a good look and then get in and try to warm up a little bit here. So yeah, this side also, it's got good gable vent, so that's good attic ventilation. Um, again, the original windows, or older windows for sure. There's a little bit of a crack in the foundation there, and one right there. You can see those. Excuse me, and then there you got a back deck. And this is the backyard with some mature trees in it. So we're gonna go on and take a look inside. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll make our way inside here. They do looks like they have a rug. But as you come in the house, here it is. It looks like it's a little, the ceiling looks a little stained, I don't know. It doesn't really smell too bad in here, like smokers, but the ceiling is kind of that color, you know, for when people do smoke inside of a house. So, ceiling probably would need to be painted. That is the original ceiling color, it looks like, too, because it's still got the glitter in it. So, you know, it's never been painted before. It's still showing that old glitter. Um, you got hardwood floors here that could be refinished. You got tile there that would be just fine. Again, you've got your older windows. a little bit of sign of foundation issue not uncommon for the area here's the kitchen so the kitchen's kind of by itself over here in the corner um, from the kitchen you're going on into the garage and here's hot water heater looks old for sure Here's the electrical panel. You got attic access, that's a pretty small one. It does have an automatic door opener in the garage. This is the door to the backyard, which we'll take a quick look back here. Here's the back of the house. One thing we can't see on snowy days is the roof. So, as always, something like if you're going to make an offer on this house, you'd want to make sure that you uh, left an inspection window open so you could check that roof out when there wasn't so much snow on it. Going back inside to the garage here. furnace is on and working by the way so the heat works here in this house um you got kind of a added on sunroom back here that needs some flooring but uh maybe a good candidate for some laminate flooring back here especially for a rental house i always like to put a solid surface flooring down got some more settlement settlement signs in here 
that could be because of that addition maybe wasn't added on right. Maybe they didn't put a correct footer in when they put it on. Winterized. Got a vent in the kitchen. Do you have a range? Moving on back to the other part of the house. Here's the bathroom. Got a, like a linoleum square. Here's the shower with your regular white tile. So I mean that could just be cleaned up. You can also spray paint those tiles. There's there's guys that that spray the tiles, so you could just spray them all white if you wanted. And that would kind of clean all of it up, and then you wouldn't have to spend the extra money to replace the tiles. Um, the other thing you could do is this looks like it needs a new band new because you're missing a door right there. So probably gonna have to factor that in. If you're gonna do that. You might as well put a new sink sink top on it. Um, Here's bedroom number one. You can see it's got the hardwood floors. Got a tiny, tiny little ceiling fan. There's access to the plumbing through the closet for that shower. Don't see any stress cracks in this room. This would be probably the master. This is the biggest bedroom of the of the house. Right here. It's got a two-tiered closet in it. And then this is the third bedroom. Got some looks like old wallpaper. ceiling too where some of the drywall face is peeling off. This corner needs touched up a little. Um, same in here. It's almost like probably with the temperature changes in the house, maybe the furnaces were off or stuff like that, that it uh, caused this to pop. It caused all this to pop. Let's see that. So again, this bedroom is real small, maybe like 10 by, I don't know, seven or something like that. It's pretty small. Got a closet in back in the living room. And that's about it. So you got to have some recessed lighting. Got an old fixture, it does have an attic fan. So this house is not real big, but bedroom. Um, it's kind of nice because, you know, you're, you're not going to have a whole lot of cost because it's not real big to refinish it. So this could be a decent one. And plus it's got this added sunroom on it. So it's right off of, uh, Blue Ridge cutoff, which is a good street. Like you can see that Blue Ridge cutoff out there. You can look down that street, those cars that just drove by. Anyway, that's this one. Um, if you're interested, let me know.